Welcome to course three of the MOOC on chronic kidney disease and old age. In this course, you will get insight on the clinical management of older patients with chronic kidney disease. The course is case-based and is supported by all partners of the SCOPE project. Following this course, you will know about the factors which need to be closely monitored and managed when treating older patients with chronic kidney disease. You will be able to interpret clinical findings and laboratory results of older patients presenting with CKD. And finally, you will be able to tailor a person-centered clinical approach for older patients with CKD, taking into consideration history taking, shared decision making in this cohort of older patients. So let's get started and meet our patient. Mr. Moody is an 81-year-old male Caucasian who lives with his family at home with a good quality of life. He has a long-standing history of coronary heart disease, diabetes and a decline of kidney function over the past years. Mr. Moody is visiting us today in our office for a routine check. He has complaints about increasing fatigue and reduced appetite. It is important to get a first impression of your patients when they enter your office. Gait and balance, as well as stability and the ability to follow your first invitation to join you in the office, may already give a hint towards physical and cognitive functionality of your older patients with chronic kidney disease. The ability to adapt in your office, as well as sensory capacity to follow your advice to enter the office, need careful monitoring. Activities of daily living, such as storing clothes and choosing a seat, need to be observed. Mr. Moody visits us on his own with no support from family members. He explains to us that he was late this morning due to traffic jam, which slowed his way by bike to come to the office. In general, he's doing fine. However, it seems to him that he has lost two kilograms body weight over the past six months without intention and that he needs more sleep, especially following meals at noon. During night, he wakes up two or three times and needs to go to the toilet. Before starting ambulatory routine clinical evaluation, this person-centered history taking is essential to address a patient's individual needs and capacities. To validate the individual functionality of older patients with chronic kidney disease, it is important to combine various methods. Besides tests measuring gait speed and balance, as well as stability, evaluation of grip strength has become hallmark in the daily clinical practice. It is important to test grip strength on both arms and ask our patients to repeat the test three times on each side of the body. The highest grip strength measured, given the dominant domain of the body, is then used as actual grip strength of your patient. It could be shown in several studies that grip strength is a strong prognostic marker for patients with chronic kidney disease. Mr. Moody is doing fine with his maximum grip strength. Clinical evaluation continues with routine measures such as taking blood pressure. It's noteworthy for clinical practice that older subjects tend to present with more changing and varying blood pressure in your office. This often indicates that measurements in the office are not reflecting real life values. As you see from Mr. Moody, his value in the office are too high. However, he himself reports back that he is taking blood pressure at home on a regular basis and it's doing fine. Also, side effects of drugs used to lower blood pressure have to be evaluated during the visit. Checking for hydration and edema and asking for voiding schedules and urine volume per day is important. Laboratory evaluation is in the center when caring for older patients with CKD. During course two of this MOOC, you have learned about measurements of kidney function using serum creatinine based equations. Furthermore, you have already learned about staging of CKD according to the creatinine albumin ratio and how to arrange progression of chronic kidney disease according to this taxonomy. When dealing with older patients, however, also other laboratory markers get into the center of the chronic care management. Anemia, 
which has a huge impact on morbidity, mortality and also functionality in daily life of older patients, is a key element in chronic care management. Checking electrolytes and hydration, as well as management of chronic acidosis, is essential in clinical management of older patients with CKD. Laboratory results and functional assessment need to be seen in the light of anthropometric measures. Weights and height shall be obtained at every visit of your older patient. Loss of weight often occurs unrecognized, but needs to be closely monitored as it may be the first sign of frailty syndrome occurring together with CKD. Furthermore, drug prescription and dosage strongly depend on body weight and body mass index as calculated by weight and height. All data retrieved from your patient during the visit need to be documented and recorded for further use. Integrated care and transmission of care plans to primary care are essential to maintain integrity of a care process. The care process is complex and a person-centered approach adapting therapeutic goals according to a patient's own goals and perspectives is essential for delivery of high-quality chronic care of older patients with CKD. As stated, many of the older patients present with a number of different diseases alongside reduced kidney function. Cardiovascular disorders, diabetes, hypertension or disorders of the musculoskeletal system are common in older CKD patients. This status is also called multimorbidity, and this often leads to prescription of more than five drugs in parallel, also defined as polypharmacy. Interaction between drugs, but also interaction between drugs prescribed and pre-existing diseases occur. It's recommended to check the drugs during every visit and to reconfirm a patient's ability to self-manage his or her drugs. Furthermore, it's necessary to reconfirm a patient's adherence and or compliance towards a prescribed drug regimen to ensure high quality of patient care for older patients with CKD. Sharing results with patients and, if necessary, caregivers and consenting on therapeutic goals supports the trust and the relationship with your patients. Reconfirming that a patient is able to follow your advice and agrees on the common management is essential. In the following chapters, you will learn more about the single issues that need to be considered with, when dealing with older patients with CKD. Partners of the SCOPE project have worked together and collected a new care pathway, which they would love to share with you. We hope you have enjoyed the patient journey and would like to invite you to the next chapters delivered by the partners of the SCOPE project.